We are in the daytime kitchen. We have Chef Andrew Stoker from The Quarter. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Here. So tell me a little bit about what's new at The Quarter. Well, you know, the weather is changing. Yes. It's starting to get real nice outside. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. Finally. <laughs> we have an absolutely fantastic courtyard patio. Mm. Come on out and sit out, sit on it, you know. Mm -hmm. We have lots of things going on. Thursday yeah. nights we've been doing patio grill outs, having a little barbecue outside. Oh, fun. So cool. it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And what type of food is it like Cajun Creole cooking? Yes, ma'am. We, okay. uh, we do Cajun Creole cooking. We're one of the only restaurants in the Roanoke Valley that does Cajun Creole cooking. Mm -hmm. okay. So if you've never had a taste for the delicious fare of New Orleans. Yeah. Come on down and try it. You gotta try it. So yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It is good. So what's new for fall? So for the fall, we are rolling out a lot of nice fall drink specials. Um, fortunately, my, my bartender, Copart, couldn't be here today. Okay. But um, she's coming up with some really good drinks, real tasty, and uh, just about every night we're coming up with a new dinner special, something new, something interesting, uh -huh. something the folks might not have had before. Okay. Yeah. So, for example, what you're going to be making for us today, yeah, right? Yeah. Today, um, we are going to be making a uh, seared pork tenderloin with a fall spiced gastrique. What is a gastrique? A gastrique, in if you put it in layman's terms, um, for a simple syrup, yes, with oh. um, water, okay. sugar, boil it down to make a syrup. Uh huh. You're essentially doing that, but you're doing it with vinegar instead of water. Oh. Okay. And all these nice ingredients I have out here, the apples, the bacon, and the green onions, mm -hmm. um, you can add that to your nice syrupy mixture and it's gonna flavor it. We are back in the daytime kitchen with Chef Andrew from The Quarter. All right, remind us what we're making again. All right, well we are making a uh, pan seared pork tenderloin with mm -hmm. a fall spice gastrique. It's going to be served over grits and squash. Nice. Mm. Um, okay. So while you guys have been, step. Yeah. Uh, while you guys were in the other room, I went ahead and started with our pork. Mm -hmm. We've got it in the oven right now. It's got this nice brown color starting to sizzle up real good. Oh, that mm. looks good. So did you yep. sear that I did. first? Uh -huh. I did. I seared it first and then I put okay. it in the oven. Okay. Okay, so I have a question. So do you sure. sear one side and then flip it over and put it in the oven immediately? I like to make sure that each side gets a little bit of the brown color on okay. it before I throw it in there. That okay. nice golden brown delicious color that mm -hmm. everyone's looking for. Okay. I've already went ahead and got our grits going. I'm keeping them warm right over here on the stove. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to start the sauce for our grass street. I've got about a half a cup of sugar in this pan right I was gonna here. Say, that's a lot of sugar right it there. It is a lot. Oh, I like <laughs> it. But when, like when you're making a simple syrup, you're going to use equal parts of each. Okay. So I've got half a cup of apple cider vinegar and I've got half a cup of sugar. Okay. And I'm going to add that. We're going to make sure it gets all good and mixed together. So you definitely, you recommend the apple cider vinegar rather than a different type of vinegar. Well, that's where the fun comes in it. You can get different okay. flavors from different vinegars that you use. Yeah. I'm partial to apple, apple cider vinegar. I mm -hmm. put it in almost everything. Okay. So, Good. Um, All right. So once that gonna, cooks down. We're going to let it, it's going to come up, it's going to get real bubbly. It usually takes a couple minutes just to do. Okay. But um, that's going to come up and get bubbly thicken? and syrupy. It, it'll absolutely thicken. Okay. And when it thickens, we're going to add our nice ingredients here to it. Okay. And what are those ingredients? I see some squash Right there. here, we've got a, this squash. This is going to be just our side dish, just plain side dish. Okay. Uh, we've got some green apples. We've got some bacon. These are scallions or green onions. Mm -hmm. And this is a nice spice blend I put together. It's got some fall spices. It's got cinnamon. It's got a little bit of nutmeg, coriander. Okay. So that's um, what makes it fall. That and I, yep. I feel like apples and bacon too. Sure. That's absolutely. fall for sure. me. You know? Sure. Absolutely. And this right here is starting to come to a boil. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and start on our squash now. It's always important to get your pan on, get it hot before you throw anything in there. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in the pan with it as well. Okay. Just wait for that to heat up. Now are mm -hmm. we adding the apples and the, the bacon, are we adding that to that sugar vinegar mix? We are. We okay. absolutely are. Mm. Okay. Okay. So it's like making a sauce? Yep. Kind of? Absolutely. Okay. okay. Absolutely. All right. So we have about a minute left, so walk us through what we need to do next. So, we're just going to get our squash in here, we're going to season it up with a little bit of salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. And we're going to let that saute off. With vegetables you want to cook it until it gets nice and soft. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe a little bit of browning on each side. Okay. Okay. So that's like fork tender? Fork typically? tender, absolutely, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now that's bubbling up. 
That is, is that when we would up. add in the apples and bacon and everything? You know, a lot of people would yes. right then, right when it starts to bubble up, but got to have a little bit of patience with it and wait yeah. maybe about a minute when it starts to bubble like that. Okay. So everything gets good, coagulated together, the yeah. sugars break down and melt. Yeah. And after that, and now is about a good time to add it. See, it's starting okay. to bubble up real nice, real good. All it's right. going to have a thick, syrupy consistency. Well, we are running out of time, but we'd love to take a, sure. a look at the pork tenderloin Absolutely. as we uh, we'll send it over to Kegis in just a minute. But it looks good. It does look good. So what we can do is we're going to finish up here, Andrew, and then maybe sure. at the end of the show we can show the finished dish. Perfect. And we are offering the recipe on our website at DaytimeBlueRidge.com.